it's me. School is starting soon, so let's check out some school fails. Call teachers by their first name. Hi, Stacy. Go to the office. Hi, Becky. Becky! Hey, Jerry. Hey! Now that's disrespectful. We don't talk to our teachers that way. It's Mr. Holtor. Yes, sir. Y'all really playing with fire like this. If you want to do this, do this on the last day of school. Shelby, what's up? <laughs> no, no. Mm -mm. We are not friends. What's up, Tav? Excuse me. What's up, Denise? Uh, go away. What's up, Ashley? What did you call me? It's Miss White's to you. It's Miss White's to you. So rude and disrespectful for what? No, that's how I feel when people call me by my first name. Don't. You're supposed to pick the kids up, not run them over. You know, I wanted to get as close to the door as possible. Well, this happened. Imagine your bus picking you up straight from the living room, destroying half your house in the process. Brownville Elementary School, we got MILF week, January 17th through 20th. I'm sorry, what? MILF week? Moms I'd like to feed? Moms I'd like to fail? Moms I'd like to flex? That's the one. When school bus is sus. Is this what private schools got on? Y'all got a limo school bus? Why it looks so ghetto? Guys, I don't think that's a school bus. It's a trap. When you call your teacher over to help you, they do the teacher stance. Legs spread, cheeks clenched. It's real fortunate that they got some space there. Otherwise, that badonk is gonna be in someone's face. Me stretching during an exam. The kid beside me. Look, I wasn't even looking. What do you mean? I'm smarter than you. <laughs> when school started at this elementary school, they put a welcome back. Y'all couldn't spell welcome right? This is the elementary school. Which one of you teachers did this? Which one of you doesn't know how to spell welcome? Y'all should enroll yourself. When you're a 21 year old teacher. You know, I forgot they have teachers that young. All right, class. Uh, <laughs> we're doing mathematics today. Okay, Sarah, what is one plus one? Two. Period, queen. It's the smart for me. It's the brains for me. It's the knowledge for me. As you should. When you spend one day on TikTok, let's see what the kids are saying these days. How do you do, fellow kids? It like blows my mind that there are teachers this young. I feel like I only had old teachers growing up. But maybe it's because I was whittled that I thought they were very old. You know when schools come up with these acronyms? This one got nut. Never underestimate teachers. Nut all over your school. <laughs> Y'all didn't think this one through, did you? Not all over your schools. And we ain't talking about nut milk. Senior girl, 2010 to 2011. You're telling me a senior in high school wrote this. A senior can't even spell senior. You don't even know how to spell what you are. Senior girls. Y'all just gonna let her graduate? She can't even spell senior. That's not your fault. The public school system has failed you. Or maybe you don't pay attention. I don't know what kind of prison school this is, but they got their bathroom set up like this. We just go and watch each other. Or I really hope there's a door. So I can have these 10 toilets and urinals to myself. So I'd rather pee on the playground. We holding it the whole day. At the Portage Community Education Center, our teachers make a difference. The difference is our teachers can't spell. But you can teach them everything else, right? Right? Why is this a back to school option? We got pregnancy tests on sale, $4.99. With a little back to school sticker, like, just in case. Find out now. This school has these stairs. As you're going up, it says, forward moving, still are you. Face your on fall you. What? By the end of the semester, I hope I can figure out what this means. If you read it from the bottom, you fall on your face. You are still moving forward. I'm gonna fall on my face if I have to read these stairs every time I go up. And no, if I fall on my face, I will be on the ground. I physically can't move forward. Like you just go, <gasps> how am I moving forward if I'm face first on the floor? Make it make sense. So I walked into the bathroom at school today. <laughs> Somebody forgot to eat their breakfast at home. So they're like, you know what? I ain't got a bowl. Make it in the sink. Fruit Loops for the whole squad. With a side of orange juice. I don't see no milk. You think they just turned off the faucet? We eating this with water. Mmm, nothing like some cereal with a side of E. coli. These school stank. Straight to jail. Chemistry is fun. No, 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 no. Here we have our little friend, Plankton, who will tell you what fun really stands for. If it's fire that burns the whole town, you is for uranium bombs. And it's for no survivors. This news channel was talking about how school is too easy for kids. Too easy. Like the number two. Yeah, it must be too easy for kids, but like, what about you, Gina? Y'all don't know the difference between two and two. Consider going back. 
at this grocery store. We got a section that says fuel for school. All the back to school stuff. Also a big arrow that says beer. Point it right where the fuel for school is. That's for the teachers. Do stores really look at the alcohol section like slap a back to school on this? Oh, you know what? I think it's for the teachers. This is the only supply they need. Y'all buying your highlighters and notebooks. They get their wine. Shul day, huh? Shul is painfully close to stool. And if it was stool day, we would be taking a crap. <laughs> Let me go through my folders in my classes. Oh, the 12th grade. 12th, what is this? I am very concerned about some of these teachers who can't spell things. How are y'all teaching? Ah, that's why we got a math teacher and a science teacher and an English teacher. I specialize in one subject and one subject only. This was an actual news article. The idiots at this school thought a student carrying a huge burrito was a weapon. What? A call about a possible weapon at a middle school prompted police officers to put armed officers on rooftops and nearby streets over a giant burrito. Because somebody called the cops and was like, I saw a boy carrying something long and wrapped when the quiet kid orders Chipotle. And somebody really called the cops like, I don't know what's in that. Uh, it's chicken and cheese. That's embarrassing. And then we got a literacy night on December 8th. Literacy. Literacy. You mean literacy? Ah, perfect, because we could all use some. First day of school, got my locker. Tries to put their backpack in it. Oh wait, what's up with this one? They got a faulty one. It's got like shelves in it. Make a nice spice rack out of that one. Since you can't even fit anything in it. Fun fact, I never used my locker. I just could never do my lock. The guy painting the road sign. He knows his letters. Wrote school. That's how you spell it, right? School. Like S H cool. Yeah, it looks fine. Ah, close enough. You get the point. There is a school bus with an ad on the back. And it says, take action. Take control. Quit school. Wait a minute. This is a school bus. It's supposed to be an ad to quit smoking. But the school from the bus just so happens to be in the worst possible spot. And now it just look like quit school. Me waking up at 6 in the morning, reading the bus like, oh, it's like a sign from the universe. I think I'll go back to bed. Get the fundamentals. College section. Go this way. Straight through the lingerie aisle. Buy a new bra or something. I mean, they're not wrong. Gotta buy some new underwear in case you crap yourself. Understandable. On this kid's homework, he's like, give me an A or the teddy bear gets it. <gasps> and it's a man holding up a teddy bear. He ain't do nothing wrong. Free him. <gasps> not only did the teacher give him a C, but a dead teddy bear. And the teddy bear got it all right. Why? He ain't do nothing wrong. Teacher got no chill for this. In this yearbook, we squirt. Silent, quiet, uninterrupted, independent reading time. <laughs> you know, all teachers love students that squirt. Model students, I tell you. Okay, whatever you say. Wait, 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 wait. I was like, what's going on here? What's going on here? This is the kindergarten classroom. It's a fun game. I saw daddy playing it with his friends. You take the ball and like you toss it in the cup. And if it goes in the cup, then you get to drink the drink. Gotta start him early. I want my child to grow up to be a beer pong champion. Hello friends, it's me. Today on the menu, we have some hot, juicy, spicy, just a pinch of paprika, back to school life hacks that we will be giving the good old test the Rooney to. In my TikTok video, I said I was gonna test this out and I didn't. So this guy's iPhone is low battery, so he put a battery on top of his charger and then took a balloon, put it over his iPhone, and then let it sit there for a few seconds. He picked it up and now it's 89%. What? I'm not buying this witchcraft. And I told you, I will not be deceived. We're gonna test it. So I'm gonna do this exactly how we did it. And as you can see, my phone is 76% right now, which is really high for my phone because usually it's really low. It was 1% three times today. So I have the balloon. I cut the, the blow part off of it. And then we're just going to shut my phone off. I'm gonna take the case off. Wolf pack merch, by the way. So we're gonna take it off and then I can even fit it over my phone's big head. So he just put it down like this and he turned it off. There we go. And now we wait like two seconds. It took him like two seconds to do it. So let's see. It's still 76%. Like, I don't see how this could possibly work. I don't Hello. understand how this is supposed to work. I don't understand either. I think it's a scam and I'm here to prove that it's a scam because I never believed it for one second. 76%. Okay, I can confirm that this does not work. It's a waste of time. You know what the dude probably did? This is my theory. So he had it on a screenshot that had a lower battery percentage and then he turned it off and then just just turned it on and then showed his real home screen, which was actually charged. Ooh. That's how you actually do it. Here to expose all you fakes. 
Oh no, my pee in a pot and pencil case broke. Whatever will I do? Where will I house all my super rare special pens? Okay, give me your notebook. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! That is inappropriate, sir. You just ripped the pocket right off the nip. That was unnecessary. Oh, he's gonna make a pocket on her notebook. You know, just glue it on. Wham, bam, yes, ma'am. You got a secret compartment for all your super special secret pens. She's the type of person that asks to borrow a pen and then keeps it. And then when you ask for your pen back, I don't have any pen. And then hoards all the pens in her boyfriend's nip pocket. Wow, he must really like her. Nothing says love like sacrificing his nip shield for his future waifu. Instead of doing his homework, this dude over here is trying to be a rapper. You know, gotta make some music for my SoundCloud and my pen stop working. Did he just <sighs> blow some hot air on his pencil? Oh no, I'll never be a SoundCloud rapper now that my pen stopped working. So if this happens, you know, if a pen don't wanna be a pen no more, it's like I'm all linked out, just use a hair dryer. Oh no, all it takes is heat. Love her. Wow, look at him go. Future superstar over here. dried up let's eat some skittles um i'm on a diet so i'll only have one no you fool we're not eating them we're painting with them is that just water <gasps> y'all just mixing water and now you got some sticky sour paint whoa you did not draw that leaf with skittle water okay we gonna have to try this out because i'm not buying this all right, I got my Skittles here, and I got regular and I got sour. So we're gonna take a little bit of each. Ooh, my mouth is watering just seeing those green ones. Mm, favorite Skittle, comment below. What's yours? The red and purple. They're not sour. Maybe I'm an adult now, and they're not sour anymore. So we're gonna put them in this ice cube tray, because I don't have a fancy artist palette. Try not to eat all of them challenge. I don't think I've had Skittles in like years. So we're gonna just like put water on each of these. Just a little bit of water in each one. I wonder if you can mix colors to make different colored paints. Ooh, I thought this would take a while, but it's already like soaking up the color. The sour ones don't work as well. See, like look at the colors. This one's like a really saturated green and this one's like a watery green. Look, like these are almost white. Wow, science. Yeah, I could definitely paint with these. I'm gonna paint you guys an art piece. <gasps> wow. It's not as saturated as I wanted it to be. Wow. It's like there's so much color, but it only comes out as water. I know. Maybe I have to let it sit more. See, they look like so good here. I'm gonna like load this one up real good. And that's all you get. Let's make an abstract piece. Do you dare me? Don't. No. Tastes like Skittle water. Ugh. Skittles that have been marinating in water. I feel like we need a blue really bad. Happy little trees. More happy little trees. Oops. Happy little accidents. We're gonna draw the sun. It doesn't look like the sun. I don't know. It does. Clearly. It I'm like pretty it. sure they didn't draw it with Skittle water because theirs came out pretty good. Like actual paint. And look. <laughs> yeah, they did it with actual paint. Look at mine. It's just dripping onto the counter. Would you eat this? No. <laughs> no I'm just kidding. We're having a sleepover on a school night, but ain't nobody can hear the music. Full volume blasted up in your ears. They acted like they can't hear it. It's only the three of them. She like, no, okay, you know what? We're gonna DIY some speakers. Did she really take the time to paint a paper towel roll? Okay, no, we, we ain't doing that. You know, I've always wondered if this works. Then we're cutting a hole, save for later. Okay, we're making this whole entire device just so our music can be one bar high. Wow, okay. Beats pill stocks drop to zero. Why pay $1.99 for a speaker when you could do this? Ugh! You see that look her teacher just gave her? You really trying to cheat two feet away from your teacher? Ugh, she's just like. She said no without even opening her mouth. Ashley, we talked about this. Come on, parallel lines aren't that hard. Did she have another one? She had another cheat sheet. Okay, teachers had enough. She caught you not once, 
but twice. Cheating. Go to the restroom right now. She's like, okay, I gotta find a better way to cheat. Wow. Puts the equations inside her nails. You know, with all the effort and time you take to do this, you might as well have just like learned the equations yourself. Ooh, they're so colorful. I love it. Wow, okay. And now you just be like, what does that say? Is that a B or an A? What did I write? Oh, now she know the answer. Oh, the teacher's like, I'm, I'm, I got my eye on you. She's like, I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> she straight up dumb bamboozled her. Did the school bully ruin your pencil case? And then with the teacher's permission, flee to the restroom? Say no more. He left his favorite orange hoodie on his seat. And so she took it. Oh, she gonna cut it. She gonna cut two hearts out of his hoodie? Bruh, for a pencil case. Okay, she somehow got a zipper. I don't know, some people just keep handy dandy zippers in their back pocket. And then they're gonna glue around it. Wow. And then you gonna turn it inside out, aren't ya? Yeah. Yeah, see, I knew it. Then you got a brand new pencil case. Take that, bully. She just put his hoodie back after cutting the holes out of it and then looks at her, making her pencil case like, oh yeah, that's, a, that's nice. Where you get that from? Little does he know. Dang, those are big hearts. Was it really necessary though to make a pencil case the size of Alabama? I thought that was supposed to be this big. This guy's Mr. Dono over here. First he donated his breast pocket and now his hoodie. As you can see here, I already have a pre-cut hoodie from a previous project and we are going to cut it. So that girl made a heart. I want to make a heart too. We have this fine hoodie material over here. <gasps> okay, you know what? These scissors kind of suck, so we're not even gonna bother making a heart. We're gonna make something more exotic, a rectangle. That's all we have budget for today. So, we're gonna do this inside out. It's actually really soft. And I don't have a zipper, so this is what I wanted to do instead. Take a Ziploc bag. Okay, nobody got a zipper on them. Do you have a zipper on you right now, this very moment? Yeah, I didn't think so. I don't know how the glue is gonna work for this, but we'll figure it out. I'm gonna take our good old handy dandy glue gun and just do two sides. Oh no, it's running out of glue. Oh, magic. I see where you're going with this pussy cat. Okay, and then we're gonna flip it. I'm not patient. Gotta wait for the glue to dry. Hold on, hold your horses. We're not ready to rock and roll yet. Okay, this will probably fit like half a pencil after it's sharpened in, in half. I made half a glove. Okay, we made a little pouch. It's a little pooch for all your school substances. And I'm gonna take the zipper that I borrowed from the plastic baggie and then put it in here. And then we're going to gently with a little bit of glue, a very little bit of glue. Put it on top on one side and then the other side. We're running out of glue here. Can we finish the DIY? Wow, literally so rude. And we're gonna glue the other side. Oh! You don't see that on five minute crafts. This is the part they don't show you. The boo boo part. The boo boo part. Oh no, okay. So I know it doesn't look that cute, but look, looky here. So when you open it, oh, and it's like a little pouch. You could even put the plastic part in it. Like I didn't have to cut the whole thing off and you would have had like a protective plastic layer. But look right here and I can put my scraps in it. You hear that? I'm sealing it and it doesn't come out, doesn't open. Closed in there for good. I like this material. You know, if I didn't rush it, this would actually probably be decent. Are you up all night doing homework and end up falling asleep on your desk? I really hope this is a caffeine hack. Geometry test 8 a.m. Oh no. Ooh, is she gonna cheat? Take some double-sided tape, your notes, and then put them in your pencil sharpener. Oh, devious indeed. Wait, so she's allowed to have her notebook on the desk while she's taking a test? Oh no. Disclaimer, only use if necessary. Make sure you study first. You know, you gotta put in the work, make sure you study, and if you end up studying all night, this is the absolute last resort. So I feel like you'll get caught. The part that sucks about math, okay, there's a lot of things that suck about math but like you have to show your work that's where they get you so even if you like peeked over you got the right answer it's like who didn't do the right work like you actually have to understand it or you get the question wrong there's no bamboozling your way out of it or at least it's really hard to bamboozle your way Oh no, I spilled all my doo-doo paint water on the ground. Whatever will I do now? Oh, let me cut a balloon. Oh. Oh. Wow. Ha! Not this time, Satan. Wow, you must be clumsy AF to knock it over twice. Literally me. 
My pencil is too short. <gasps> They're all short. Oh no. Here, take them. Okay, are we gonna make an art installment? We're just gonna take all of them, make them the exact same size. Oh, she's making a brooch. Wow, you made that with my miniature pencil heads? Okay, now give it back to me. That looks cool, but like not for a student. I feel like only adults wear brooches, like teachers. I have never seen a kid wear a brooch. Oh, she made one too. I am general short pencil and you are short pencil cadet. High five. I'm gonna sit down and draw a picture. Hmm, what should I draw? Oh no, my markers are all dried out. Mom was right, I'll never be an artist. Yo, high key though, this was actually frustrating. Like whenever you needed that one color and it was dried out. Blue, what are you doing? I thought we were drawing. Okay, she got the creative bug. She still wanna make something. What, all of them are dried out? Useless. No, 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 not so useless. We're gonna make this thingamajig. Oh, it's a little container. Oh, that's actually really cute. Wait, how did they all change colors? Wait, you done did me a bamboozle. See, they start out blue, and then she's adding more colors, and then the finished product. Oh, whoa, I guess maybe that's another one. Okay, not so useless anymore. That's actually a really neat hack. Do you hate leaning over to look at your paper while you're also writing a paper? Oh no, my neck, the pain. I can't take it any longer. You know what? Time for some life hacks. We're gonna take a clothing hanger, nod our head, and then pin it to our laptop and the paper. So all you gotta do is look like this. I mean, you could've just like put it on a box or something, like right in front of you. But I mean, if you got one of those clampy clothing hangers, I guess it works. Gaga, hello, it's me, kindergartner here. Mm, mm. Today we're gonna be going back to kindergarten. My favorite. Today we're gonna be going back to a simpler time, to kindergarten, the days of the sandbox. I remember getting into a sandbox fight once. Tanisha shoved a shovel of sand at me and then I shoved the shovel of sand at her back, but I got in trouble, she didn't. It's Monday. Here we are in kindergarten. Oh, all right, so we're Billy the Bean. Is this a classroom or Satan's sacrificial summoning circle? Everybody meet Billy, our human sacrifice. You better get out of there. What is this? Can we go to the piggy? Maybe we could smash it. Is this, is this the smashable kind? Ooh, a piggy bank. Press down to take the money. Press up to put the money back. Okay. Just casually looted the classroom piggy bank. You know what, let's just put some money back in there so it's not too suspicious. Yeah, yeah we got we got 20 cents. There, y'all can have that. Billy got them fat pockets now. $4.80 in coins, let's go. What's in this door? Am I ready to start another day of kindergarten? Another day? Man, that's it? The first day? Just steal out of the classroom piggy bank and almost get sacrificed? Okay, yeah, let's go another day. Why not? Oh, here's the outside area. Oh, look, other students. Hmm, I smell money. Yeah, somebody's definitely carrying more than $3 around here. Wow! Is this what you call a bully? <gasps> oh no. Hey kid, you carrying any cash? Me? Nah, I'm broke like you. Get out of here, scram. No, I ain't got anything on me. Don't lie to me. I know when I smell money, give me half or else. But, or else what? I ain't giving you 240? No way! Look kid, I don't have time to argue with you. Give it to me or you're dead meat. Bruh, what you gonna do? I'm still not giving you my 240. Go make your own money. Just go rob some piggy banks like I did. Don't say I didn't warn you. Whoa! Oh my god, he's actually- what? Bro, this is some serious bullying going on. I just died in the playground and nobody batted an eyelash. Nobody even did anything about it. How this kid go get away with this? Either bring less money to school or give half to bugs or suffer the consequences, AKA death. I think it would have been less painful to get sacrificed in that other room. But this, bruh, they ain't messing around. He actually killed me. Ended my life. Over $2.40. I am shooketh. All right, guys, life lesson. If somebody's like, give me your money or you're dead meat, just give them the money. All right, I guess we're restarting now. All because I didn't fork over $2.50. Hey, kid, you can't. Okay, we go say, no, I'm not going down without a fight. No, I don't have any cash. Don't lie to me. I know when I smell money. This dude be like, I smell pennies. <laughs> okay, here, $2.40. 
Good boy. Now don't go telling teacher about this or you might turn up missing like that Billy. What happened to Billy? Can I like go behind this dude and like drop kick him? What's the attack button? Oh, we can only interact. We can attack. What do you want, dweeb? I'm not giving you your money back. Get out of here before I squish you. Okay, you know what? I will take your warning seriously this time. I sincerely learned my lesson. We're going to walk away. Ooh, how I wish I could just walk back up to this dude and do a running kick. <laughs> Goofy looking dude. All right, we're gonna talk to you next. Hi, my friends call me Nugget. Or they would if I had any. Nugget knows no love or friendship since Billy went missing. Oh no. See, what happened to Billy? Billy's missing. Poor Nugget misses Billy, but Nugget cannot help him now. It is too late. What happened to this dude? Nugget doesn't know where he is. Oh, so Nugget gave me a pill. Take it if you start thinking about Billy too much. Okay? No more talking. Now shoo. Hello, will you be my friend? Wait, hold up. Where are my glasses? Is that the teacher? Miss Jiggle. Better jiggle physics than Fortnite. Um, hey, I'm Lily. You probably heard about what happened to my brother, Billy. Oh, so Billy's her brother. I haven't. You haven't? It's been all over the news. He went missing. Yes, I caught that. But what else happened? Thanks. That makes you one of the few people that even seems to care. Ever since he went missing, people either ignore me or insult me. Cindy has been trying to put gum in my hair. Bruh, give this girl a break. Her brother went missing and everybody's just bullying her. Oh my God. So in high school, I put gum in somebody's hair. Or so this dude, I don't even remember his name. Otherwise, ooh, I will call him out. I don't know what his problem was. This was an art class. Art class was my sanctuary, my haven, where I could sit and draw and listen to music. But this dude, he would come after lunch and take packets of salt and then pour them on my head. Like just walk behind me and throw like packets of salt all over me. I don't know why. Literally, why would you do that to somebody? Isn't it funny how everybody is like, oh, bullied in high school. What about all you people actually doing the bullying? Y'all just don't talk about it anymore? Y'all just forget that it even happened? Because I sure didn't forget. Anyways, I ain't no I didn't start crying or anything, but boy, I was, I was this close. So you know what I did? I whipped out the only weapon I had. I took three pieces of trident, chewed those bad boys up real good. No, we got a nice, fresh, juicy batch for you. Took it out, held it in my hands, walked over to this guy, you know, smiling at him, making eye contact because he was looking at me like, oh, what's this girl doing now? I took that gun. I went splat right into his scalp. And you know what this guy did? He sent his big behemoth, six foot large girlfriend to chase me all over school. You know what? That's why he did the salt. Because his girlfriend attacked me in the bathroom and I snitched on her. Well, what was I supposed to do? You gotta snitch on these people. But that's a different story for another time. That is like one <laughs> crazy long story. But anyways, I got them back. I spent half my freshman year running away, hiding from this behemoth who's probably in jail now. But anyways, back to this. <laughs> I kind of went off. I don't know, but if I was you, I'd stay away from her. She's really mean. Okay, you know what? Thanks for the tip because I need somebody mean. You see, I am trying to build an army to destroy the lunch money bully. We must put an end to him. Hey teacher, what's up? I'm Miss Applegate. I have been well endowed. What? Who starts off a conversation like that with a student? Like, yes, hello, it's me, Miss Jiggle. Yes, I have quite a large bosom as you can see. <laughs> Oh, that hurts. Oh, sorry, with excellent teaching qualities. Mm, I'm sure. Lots of education there. You know what? I'm still gonna snitch. Bug stole my money. Teacher lady. Sick him. He did. Interesting. I'll make you a deal. Bugs is a real troublemaker. He's violent and a danger to others. If you go over there and challenge him, I'll make it worth your while. Bro, what kind of school is this? This is kindergarten. Not this is a prison garden. Look at the gates. This is not the kindergarten I remember. Make me a deal you say? What kind of deal? Is this even legal? What kind of alternate universe we living in? What if he hurts me? It'll build character. Wow. No. It'll kill me. Literally. We've already tried this. Can't build character if you don't have a character to build. What's in it for me? I'll give you a gold star. We all love gold stars, don't we? Oh yeah. Not even an A plus the rest of the year. Not even money. Gold star. Here you go. What can I do with a gold star? I'm gonna risk my life for a gold star. Star? All right, let's go. Oh, how I love a good kitty fight. Just go over and push him a little bit when he attacks back. Just yell 
offer me and I'll put a stop to it. Wow, you know what? That actually sounds like a pretty good deal. Like as long as you stop it, as long as you keep your word and you actually stop this fight, sounds like a plan. How you doing there, Sonny? Don't mind the old janitor here just sweeping up after you silly cretins. <laughs> sweepy, sweepy, sweepy. That's a mop. What are you doing? Ah, so it is. You are also mopping the sidewalk. I'll be mopping your blood off of it if you don't skedaddle. Whoa! Bro, this is a janitor. Calm yourself. You ain't allowed to talk to the children like this. Yeah, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm getting pretty scared. This is a dangerous place. I'm going to skedaddle and talk to this girl over here, which I'm assuming is the mean one. She got some mean pigtails. Hey there, cutie. I'm Cindy. Want to be my boyfriend? Yee! You know what? Sure, if you can help me against the battle of bugs. Yeah, you know what? This this is all part of my master plan. Yeah, I I'll be your boyfriend or whatever. That's what I like to hear. We totally be the cutest couple in school. But first, you have to do something for me. Bruh, I ain't got time to do something for you. I'm trying to fight this guy. Get my $2.40 back. Isn't our love enough? Haha, <laughs> that's cute, but no. You're gonna have to prove it to me. I'm not proving anything to you. I ain't got time for this. Let's, let's deal with this boy. Boy! Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? About to drop kick him to SpaceX. Here we go. Build momentum. Ooh. Okay. Didn't work out as planned. What do you want, dweeb? I'm not giving you your money back. Get out of here before I squish you. Ooh! Squishing me won't make your dad come back. Ooh! Roasted! Shall we test the waters? My dad will come back. He just went to the store to get some cigarettes is all. Get out of here or I'll beat you so hard it'll make him proud. Ha ha ha! Oh, he'll never be proud of you. Oh, yes he will. If you don't leave right now, you're dead meat. You know what? Dying wouldn't be so bad. Fine, you asked for it. This is for you, daddy. Ooh, ooh, whoa. Accept your fate call. Oh, no, teacher. Hey, Miss Chico. Your girl need help. Your girl need help. Bugs. Oh, she actually came. How dare you attack another student unprovoked. This is the last straw. I'm sending you to the principal's office so he can finally expel you. Oh, yeah. No, please don't. He started it. He's a liar. He said my dad was never coming back. <laughs> Classic father-son moment. Dad said he was gonna go get milk six years ago. He'll be back. I'm, I'm sure he'll be back. Life hacks. The only way to make your dad come back from the store is to be rich and successful and or famous. <laughs> Dad'll come right back in a jiffy. Well, he's right. And after this little incident, neither are you. Now go to the principal's office or I'll have the janitor carry you there. But, but, go! For I smack you with his titty. Mm, stupid rat. We could have been friends if you didn't rat me out. I love how rats always call other people rats. Like you the rat. Get out of here with that. I don't want to be friends with someone who killed someone over $2.40. Oh, happy day. I'm finally rid of that little degenerate. Here's your gold star as promised. Achievement unlocked. I got my gold star. We got rid of that guy. Okay, what are we doing today? You know what? I might be interested. <laughs> Look who came crawling back ready to prove your love to me. Okay, you know what? How do I do that? See that girl over there? That's Lily. She's by far the ugliest, nastiest girl you will ever meet. I want you to take this gum and stick it in her hair during morning time. Got it? You know what? I can get an apple for it. And I only have one apple right now. I don't know what to do. Do I want Cindy on my side? Perhaps she would aid me in future battles. But also, Lily just lost her brother. I don't want to put gum in her hair. I mean, Cindy's already been doing it all the time. I'm really trying to get my apples right now, so... Oh, wait, no, it took an apple away from me? I didn't realize that. No. Now I am the bad guy, a terrible person, and I have no apples. She finally gets what she deserves, just like her brother for dumping me. Whoa. What happened to her brother? He went missing. His disappearance totally stole the thunder from my dog Biscuit going missing. I guess everyone cares more about him than they do about me. Bruh, a human is missing. And your dog is missing because you probably left the bad guy gate open. You stupid. I care about you. Not really, but like I'm trying to get more allies in this kindergarten prison. That's why you're gonna stick gum in Lily's hair during morning time. Come see me after you've done it. <sighs> 
annoying. Okay, children, it's time to start the day. Everyone head inside for morning time. Whoa. You're telling me this whole time. Everything that just happened was before the morning bell even rang. Oh my god. The day hasn't even started yet. Jeez. Good morning, children. It's time to pick your buddies for morning time. Or you can be sad, pathetic, and alone. As long as you're the best you, you can be. I really felt that one. All right. Let's go find a partner. Oh, good thing I have a girlfriend. Well, what are you waiting for? Stick that gum in her hair. Okay, whatever you say, ma'am. Oh, I don't really do the whole morning buddy thing anymore. Billy was my buddy, but he's missing. Okay, I'm not gonna put the gum in her hair because they take an apple from me, and I don't know what happens if I take if they take all the apples. Dude, you know you're not cool enough to talk to me, let alone be my morning buddy. Besides, Monty's gonna hook me up with a sweet yo-yo. Yo-yo? What are you even talking about? Bro, can I put the gum in his hair? Oh, look at this dude. He look like he's crying. This guy look lonely. I'm gonna I'm talk to him. Hello, friend. What? You wanna be my morning buddy? I ain't got time for that nonsense. So unless you're buying or selling something, get lost. Whoa! Bro, I came up to this kid to try to be nice and make a friend? Look at him. He look like the nerd that eat lunch alone. He like, get out of here. Unless you buying or selling. Buying or selling what? I want to sell something. I want to buy something. Here's what's for sale. A yo-yo, screwdriver, or six. Bro, what kind of store is this? Your store sucks. Never mind. All right, Nugs, my, my friend. Nugs does not wish to spend morning time with you. Nugs is very busy. What are you busy with? You are curious about the ways of Nugget? Interesting. Perhaps you could be of some use to Nugget. Nugget is in need of a magnifying glass. Do this for Nugget before the next bell rings and you'll be rewarded. Bro, everybody want favors done. She won't be my partner unless I put gum in her hair. Loli doesn't do partners. That dude is way too cool for me. This guy is a one-man marketplace. Nugs want to... Okay, magnifying glass. There's one right here, so... Can I just, like, loot this classroom? Hey, don't go snooping around in other people's cubbies. Well, how am I supposed to get the magnifying glass? Am I supposed to distract the teacher? Hey, Miss Teacher, go find your morning buddy or you'll be an outcast loser-like Nugget. Ooh, I can snitch and be like, Nugget gave me a pill. Ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, dibs, gulp. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Teacher will oh, do whatever about it. Now go run along and play. What? what? But imagine giving your teacher a pill. Like, oh, Nugs gave me this pill. Oh, that's mine now. Okay. Now do we wait for the teacher to KO and we can get this magnifying glass? Do I really gotta stick gum in her hair to get me a dang partner? All right. Okay, shut up. That's like a nice way of saying, yeah, I don't want to be your partner. So I'm going to put gum in Lily's hair. Okay, I don't even care. You put gum in my hair. That's so mean. Cindy put you up to this, didn't she? Well, I don't care. Leave me alone. Okay. Oh, Woo. Good thing she doesn't care. All right, now I have my partner and I won't have to be an alone loser like I usually am. Did you do it? Oh my gosh, you totally did. Wow, what happened? What did she say? Did she cry? I bet she cried. Yes, she cried. Yes, I'm so happy. Now you can be my morning buddy. Also makes you my boyfriend as my boyfriend gets the honor of playing house with me. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. So my boyfriend is not allowed to bleed all over me. Go to the bathroom and wash up. I will be over by the dollhouse. All right. First, she wanted me to put gum in her hair. Now she's like, wash up. You call me dirty. I risk my life to keep you and all the other students safe. These are my battle scars. All right, let's go to the bathroom. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa, damn. She ran quick. She like a chupacabra. You can't just leave class without a pass. Okay, can I use the bathroom? I don't know. Can you? <laughs> oh, you're so funny, Miss Jiggle. May I use the bathroom? Okay, here's the bathroom pass. Thank you. Whoa, who this dude? Bro, get get out of my way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, there's no getting past this dude. Be gone, Crimson Chin. Get out of here. Oh my god, he literally won't move. I, I won't stand a chance against this guy. Not so fast there, little dude. I'm gonna need to see your hall pass. Well, I have a hall pass, so like here. Okay, I'll let you pass. But I can't let you go any further than the bathroom. 
Bruh, I have a hall pass. I can literally go wherever I want. I've never been to a school where you have to have hall passes. Like, as soon as I walk out the door. Hall pass, please! Heck off, please. Whoa! What's going on in here? Mr. Janitor, dude. <laughs> I like his animation. He's just like... <laughs> forever bopping to whatever he's listening to. <laughs> Okay, uh, oh, what, what's in here? Hey, don't go messing around with those bags. He did it. He took Billy. <laughs> what's going on there, boy? Oh, uh, what's in those bags? What bags? You're kidding, right? Ooh, these bags. Nothing for you to worry your stupid little head about. Now run along. You know what? I really don't want to die again, so I'm going to stop worrying my stupid little head and do what I came here to do. Whoa! <laughs> Ew! Bruh, I swear, men's restrooms really be like that sometimes though like some of y'all don't even try to get it in the toilet i can hear someone grunting on the other side of the door it must be in use okay well here we go <laughs> i look like somebody could just pick billy up and drop him whole in that toilet this toilet is disgusting there's no way i can use it gross yeah, that's pretty gross. Okay, well, let's wash up. That's what we came here to do. Wash off blood. Man, I gotta give an apple to wash it off. Okay, here we go. I got a playhouse with Cindy now. Wow, what an eventful afternoon. Oh, you're back. I'll take that bathroom pass now. Okay. What, for using a bathroom pass, I had to use an apple? Oh, wait. Can I take the magnifying glass now? This is Lily's cubby. There is a magnifying glass. She's probably using it to look for clues about her missing brother. Oh my god. I have to take the magnifying glass. The teacher's finally distracted. Okay, kids. That's the lunch bell. Go down to the cafeteria. I have to give him the magnifying glass before it's too late. Or maybe he doesn't want it anymore. Oh, I ain't trusting biscuits from this dude. Ooh. He, he cleans the bathrooms, but also sells biscuits for lunch. Biscuit balls. Get your biscuit balls. Of course they're balls. Why wouldn't they be? He came up with his own recipe after a little incident that happened recently. Oh, yeah. No, I don't even want to ask any of these questions. What's in them? Whatever's in a biscuit and a little something extra. How much are they? They're a buck a piece. Quite the deal if I say so myself. And I'm sure your friend Sydney would. <laughs> <laughs> Love to try one. Okay, you know what? I'll take one. Yeah. <laughs> My token of appreciation. Sorry, honey. I couldn't play house with you today. Okay. Nugs, you know what? I got I got you your magnifying glass. No one sits with poor Nugget. Nugget does not have any friends. Jesus, Nugget. I just wanted to give you a magnifying glass, but okay. Man, I did a little dirty twice. I feel bad. All right, Cindy. Here's... Sorry, sweetie, we're through. Better luck tomorrow. What? Because I didn't play house with her? She's breaking up with me? Bruh, I got you a biscuit ball. And you're breaking up with me. I spent a whole dollar for you. Despicable. Everybody hates me already. Please don't sit with me. I don't want to talk to anyone until I find my brother. What? I... Okay, everybody hates me. I figured you'd be seeing me around now. Slop is no good, and I don't think anyone is brave enough to try a biscuit from the janitor. Dumb old man can't even spell it right. <laughs> get it? Bis cuts? Smash like if you get it. All right, let's go to this dude. You're nowhere near cool enough to sit with us. Get lost. Bru you're literally sitting by yourself. <laughs> Imagine you go to a person sitting by themselves. You're not cool enough to sit with me. Only my imaginary friends are cool enough. You're stupid. I hate you. I wish I could throw this biscuit ball at his head. Damn, grandma going ham on those mashed potatoes. Want some tasty, nutritious slop? Okay, this is prison. Sure, I'll take some slop. Okay, and you know what? I have some slop now. There's a monster mon card under this table. I have never heard of that Digimon. We'll pick it up. Did she eat it? <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Oh, I can throw away the slop. Can I get more slop? It's free, so... Oh, wait, no, it's not really. Okay, I got second slops. All right, that's recess, and that's all for today. <laughs>